Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany. And I'm Jess. And we are battling the wind today, but we're out and about getting to know BOPO. We're going to introduce you to Matt. So Matt is our emergency communications manager, and he is in charge of basically making sure that we're going to have a better communication system for our first responders and for you guys. Right. More cell service. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about where we are. We, we can tell you a little sneak peek of kind of where we are today. So right now we're at a tower site and we're overlooking U Rock. And if you squint in the other direction, you can find a risk in you. And you can see how challenging it can be sometimes to get to these remote sites and make sure you have cell service. I'm telling you, I've got a lot more respect for the people that do this work. So let's get right to us and let's meet Matt. So this is some county owned property out in the Catawba area. Uh, we were very fortunate to, to have some land that we were able to use that saved the taxpayers quite a bit of money. Um, what you're looking at behind me is two acres that we've cleared and we'll be putting a communications tower on. Um, we had to clear a little bit more area because um, you don't want any trees falling onto your compound, but the actual compound will only be about 100 by 100 feet. Um, and um, obviously this is a high point. Um, we will have microwave connections uh, that will connect to a tower and right on the Bedford County line over in Blue Ridge and also up towards Eagle Rock uh, that will be part of the whole radio communications network. A lot of people don't really think about, or well, they think public safety radio is just for the, the first responders, um, but a, a portion of that uh, public safety is for the citizens to actually be able to reach 911. And in this particular area, in the Catawba area, um, cell phone coverage is very challenging. Um, there's very little cell coverage. Uh, this, this tower will provide the opportunity for cell carriers to co-locate on this tower and to provide that cell service. So not only will you be able to call 911, but you'll also be able to call your loved ones and, and do all the other things you get to do uh, with your on your cell phone. So it'll be an added benefit for the, uh, for the citizens in that regard as well. So next, uh, we've got a third party company that we're working with to build the tower. Uh, so we'll be coming in, uh, they'll be doing um, all of their um, studies that they'll need to do, the geo uh, studies make sure that where the, the tower goes is will support it and things of that nature. Um, we're looking, it'll be a number of couple months before we're ready to do that. Uh, we had to get the trees on the ground early uh, because of uh, some environmental concerns with the northern long-eared bat. Um, but now that we've got the trees down, um, they'll come in in the probably the next several months and do all of their studies and, and then they'll start, uh, they'll submit all their plans for the building and things of that nature through the county. We do everything just like everybody, all the other taxpayers do. Uh, and we will um, start the construction process probably uh, mid-summer uh, is when they'll uh, actually start the construction for the tower. And it's probably about a 90-day build. So by fall, um, we'll have a nice tower here uh, that we can uh, we hang in all of our equipment on. Been on this site since 1998. Uh, this is in the Eagle Rock area. Um, uh, obviously, this is a, a ridge top site. We're on top of a mountain. Um, obviously, we do that so we can get better coverage um, throughout the, uh, the coverage area. Um, but this is an example of what the tower is going to be like. This particular tower is 150 feet. Uh, it also has the microwave that I mentioned earlier to, it, where all the sites will be able to talk to each other and connect. Um, and, but this is uh, what the finished product will be um, from what you saw earlier with all the, the just the bare ground. This is what the finished product will end up being uh, when we're all finished. Probably uh, for the new site, so what we call a greenfield site, uh, is just finding the location. Um, the one in Catawba, we were very fortunate we were able to use some uh, county-owned land. Uh, the one in Blue Ridge, uh, we've had to reach out to private landowners uh, that uh, have partnered with us at the county. Um, we're very fortunate to have folks that were willing to work with us to help provide that public safety. Um, but these like these sites are, are not just picked, you know, we're not throwing a dart at the map. Uh, these are specific sites because all the sites actually have to physically have line of sight. We'll be able to see two other sites in the system. And obviously with our topography, uh, with the mountains and whatnot, it makes it very challenging. And um, but, uh, we've got that nailed down and now we're in the process of moving forward and getting the permits and starting to break ground. 